approach in science is a mechanistic approach. The idea is that you really try and burrow down and reduce things to their lowest common denominator and their smallest parts in order to make a difference. And what I learned from sustainable farming is that many times it's really by looking at a system in its whole and looking at how all the pieces interrelate in a very complicated way that we get our answers or we actually are able to move forward. And with sustainable farming, it was really these creative farmers who stopped thinking about just testing and replacing minerals within their land, but thinking in a very reductionist way, but actually thought of the entire ecology of their farm and how they could have the soil and the microbes and the animals and the humans and the seeds and the weather interact. It was those farmers who were actually able to make a success in farming. And I feel with medicine, it's very much the same way. If we're going to start to solve some of these intractable problems, that we have to look at these as very complicated, web-like, <laughs> interrelated problems, and that that's how we're going to solve them. But what I'm advocating for is really kind of a micro-macro approach, a high-low approach, a big-picture, small-picture approach. And I think that's where real creativity is going to happen in healthcare and agriculture and everything, is when we're able to bring these two very different perspectives, the big lens and the small lens, together to find these solutions. And that's starting to happen, but more often than not, we get into our little silo, our little burrow, we don't look up and try and see the big picture.